This thing just turned 10. Feel old yet? Yep, we are actually talking about some 2010 verified Stone Age tech here, but you guys voted the 4th generation the best iPod Touch in the iPod Touch history. And so I thought this beautiful apparatus which improved everybody's music experience and deteriorated everyone's attention spanning class shall finally get its iBangla review. So let me take you on a journey to the year of 2010. Back in the days iPod Touches looked like this. First generation, first generation components featuring a new design called second generation, second generation design coming with improved components called third generation, and on September 1st this one joined the scratched even though you used a case backside club. And after you know this, many people were excited about the variety of improvements and changes this iPod came with. First of all, this iPod touch looks even sleeker than its predecessors, which is quite impressive. Because for me even the second generation did look like some crazy futuristic alien shit when I saw it for the first time. Above that it featured a nice 60 by 640 retina display which was somewhat like that one introduced in the iPhone 4. So the PPI changed from 165 to 326 which makes a significant difference. In fact, Apple thought this display was so revolutionary that most of it made it even into the iPhone 11. Furthermore and for the first time ever in an iPod touch, Apple granted us a 0.3 front facing and a 0.7 megapixels main camera. And I can tell you that started an era in which many blizzards have been photographed and importantly in which climate zone people were. But the main camera did actually feature an HD video recording mode which was admittedly outstanding and with the right apps you could even create realistic high quality action effects. But let's take a look inside. Next to a generous amount of 256 megabytes of random access memory, it came with an Apple A4 chip, which has just been introduced with the iPhone 4. Above that you could decide between three memory variants, 8, 32 and 64 gigabytes. At this point a moment of silence for our brothers and sisters who got the 8 gig model for Christmas. Might they have accomplished something in their lives and be able to afford 512 gig iPhones now? By the way, one year later Apple introduced a white model. Another year later the 8 gig variant was discontinued and replaced with a 16 gig model. And finally another year later the iPod Touch 4th generation didn't get an iOS 7 update. I hope you had a good year with your white 16 gb iPod Touch. The apparatus came in a little plastic packaging in which you could also find Apple stickers, terrible headphones and a 30 pin cable to sync your iPod to your legal and not from YouTube or other websites downloaded music library. And yes there was no adapter included. Apple apparently did start to save the environment years ago. But you might be here watching this video to trigger some nostalgia and get back some old memories. And I actually have two and a half pages full of those right here. But first of all, yes, this iPod's jailbroken. Yes, I can write whatever I want into the upper left corner. And yes, indeed, this iPod does run iOS 4.3, what makes it way faster than an updated one. So unfortunately, I can't show you a high quality gameplay because more than 10 years later, my thumbs are bigger than the screen and I became old and slow. But I think many of you remember some of those games. But how does it hold up today? Not at all. Most of the pre-installed apps aren't working anymore. I mean you can still take photos with the 0.3 megapixels camera to load them onto your PC to upload them to I don't know probably MySpace or Facebook but it's going to be hard to find working apps you can still download. On the other hand you can pick those up for 10 bucks what makes them and the 12 years old me will laugh about the irony at this point a very affordable mp3 player nowadays. So in conclusion this device has changed my life and is full of nostalgia but today it unfortunately isn't really more. What do you think about the iPod Touch 4? generation and which one was your first Apple device? Let me know in the comments. So don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe and see you next time. Adios amigos!